Now, whenever I get a vector question, I'd always want to draw a diagram. And in this one, you'll notice then I've drawn the lines L1 and L2, and they're perpendicular, we're told, at right angles to one another, so I've marked that in here. I've written out the equations of the lines L1, L2, and what you should know is that these n vectors are the vectors that are parallel to the line. I don't know how long the vectors are, that doesn't matter, and I don't know what direction they go in, but I do know that they're parallel to the lines. Now, we've got to work out the value of Q here. And how do we do this? Well, you should know that if two vectors are perpendicular to one another at 90 degrees, and these two vectors would be at 90 degrees to one another, their scalar product, or some of you might know it as the dot product, equals zero. Let me just remind you, you should know this rule, that if you've got two vectors, A and B, with components A1, A2, A3, B1, B2, B3, if A and B are perpendicular, then A dot B equals zero where a dot b is calculated as a1 times b1 plus a2 times b2 plus a3 times b3. So we use that result here. So what we've got to do then is just simply dot these two vectors together. So if we do that, we're going to have minus 2 times q, minus 2 times q or minus 2q, then we plus 1 times the 2, so we've just got 1 times 2, and then plus minus 4 times that 2, plus minus 4 times the 2. And according to the rule here, a dot b, which is this calculation, should equal 0, so just put it equal to 0. So all we need to do now is just solve this. So we've got minus 2q, and here we've got 2 plus minus 8, which is going to be minus 6. That equals 0. If we add 6 to both sides, we get minus 2q equals 6. And therefore, if we divide by minus 2, 6 divided by minus 2 is minus 3. And so that's what we had to show, and we've done it. Okay.